Hi, my name is Jake and now we will make this effect. I'm including this free After Effects template as a bonus to this super simple tutorial. This tutorial is really great for beginners. To find this template, you'll need to watch all this video. Somewhere in this video I'll tell you where you can find the link to this free After Effects template. Guys, I really need that watch time for my channel. Let's get started. I'm working in Adobe After Effects CC 2015. This footage you will find in the description below. So let's drop on this icon here to create new composition. So as you can see, I have this footage of forest. I just sped up my footage to 30%. If you right mouse click on it and go to time, time stretching and set to 30%, you'll get the same speed of running. So let's go to edit, duplicate. This lower one, let's just right mouse click on it and go to time freeze frame. Let's also call it BG. Press return on keyboard to rename it. And this we will rename to me. Let's apply effect called difference mat. Just drag and drop on our footage. And let's set difference layer to BG. So basically this effect looks at two of these footages and trying to find what is different about them. So only thing is different is me and leaves in the background. So let's play with match intolerance. I'll set mine to eight. And let's apply mat choker. Just drag and drop on this footage here. I will not change anything. Maybe let's change mesh intolerance to about six to see ourselves better. So now we can select our BG layer and go to edit, duplicate. Select these both layers, the layer below and this one and go to layer, pre-compose. Let's call it also me and okay. So let's enable this layer below. So now we can work only with the body. Let's apply effect called directional blur. I'll set it direction to minus 90 and blur length to 76. So now we have this blur. Let's also apply curse effect, drag and drop on our footage here. And let's make it a bit more visible. Just make this curve here. We will give some more cartoonish colors. Let's also go to edit, duplicate. And this one, let's set it to screen. So now we see ourselves better. Let's select this layer above and go to edit, duplicate. And now we will make some trail. So for this, let's find a moment which you want to stretch. We are going to stretch ourselves. Select this layer, right mouse click on it and go to time, freeze frame. Let's also select this rectangle tool and draw a mask to ourselves, about here. And then select this pen behind tool to move our anchor point just to this mask, to align with this line of the mask. Let's press S on keyboard to see our scale. So let's click on this icon here to stretch only in X axis. Let's also set it to add and maybe let's move it our mask to this height. If you don't like how it looks, you just can repeat these steps and pick other frame like this. It looks way better. Let's play with our curves to have these vibrant and cool colors. Let's also press P on keyboard to see our position. Let's go to beginning and move it over here to the left of the screen. And just about here to move it all the way to the right of the screen. We can now play with our keyframes to match ourselves with the trail. Then we can pre-compose this layer, just close here, and go to layer, pre-compose. Let's call it trail and click here to move all attributes. Let's set it to add. And now we can apply effect called linear wipe. So with this effect, we will make our trail disappear. Let's set our keyframe to zero and click on this stopwatch to create a keyframe and about here to 100. So let's spread our keyframes apart and set feather to about this value. So as you can see, our trail just vanish. You can play around with the keyframes to get the look which you want. So now let's add some debris. You can just go to YouTube and type in dirt charge. Let's pick this video here. As you can see, we have a bunch of charges. You can download it and work with it. I have a bunch of charges already on my computer. It's already without the green screen. So let's pick this rectangle tool here and create a mask just to cut this ground and press F on keyboard to see our feather. I'll set it to 15. And if you download that footage from YouTube, you'll need to apply key light effect. Just drag and drop on your footage. And with this color picker, just select green color and it will cut it out. Mine is already good. So I am gonna delete this key light effect. Let's apply a curse effect. I'll need to make some color correction. I'll go to the blue channel and, and make this curve here to make it more yellowish. And red channel, let's make it a bit orangish. Maybe a bit less to match the scene better. 
And I also want to speed up, so right mouse click on it and go to time, time stretch. I'll set it to 50 because this footage is slowed down. And then just make a bunch of copies by pressing Ctrl D on keyboard and move them apart. You can also press Y on keyboard to change position of anchor point, just set it below. And then press S on keyboard to change scale, to have some variety. Also with this one, let's make it smaller. And then let's time it well. And just duplicate a bunch of these dirt charges, maybe download a few of the others, and it should look fine. Also drag and drop this sonic footage composition, this icon here to create new composition. And let's add some camera shake. We can just press S on keyboard to change scale to 107. Press R on keyboard to see rotation. Hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch. Let's type wiggle, open bracket, two, comma, one, close bracket. You can play around with these values. First value is meaning how frequent it would be. And second value is how much amplitude will have this wiggle. You can copy this expression by selecting all and press Ctrl C on keyboard. Then press P on keyboard to see our position. Also, hold Alt key on keyboard, left mouse click on this stopwatch to write expression and just press Ctrl V to paste it. Or type this wiggle expression again and play around with the values. My position I've set to 3 and 15 and rotation 2 and 0.5 to get this kind of result. And now let's see how free Sonic After Effects template work. Let's open it. By the way, I'm a motion designer. I work for VideoHive. I'm creating a bunch of professional templates. Link to them will be in description below, such as this one. As you can see, this is slideshow. It's one of my work. Also, I have this cool Light Trails toolkit. And of course, I have this VFX bundle. It's my own project, which has a bunch of effects, which I've created on my channel with After Effects projects. Just check my portfolio to see more. Link to it will be in the description below. So let's open this free template. As you can see, you have a bunch of compositions. You can just open your text one and type here whatever you want. Just double click on it and I'll type mine. And here second one, let's hide this one so you will not see this. And here you can also type wherever you want. I'll type cool intro. And then let's preview. Yep, it's that easy to work. To find this template, just go to my channel and search for shield effect from Doctor Strange. And here, in the description below, at the very bottom, you'll see the link to this free After Effects template. By the way, this template works even with After Effects CS5, as well as with the newest versions, like CC 2018. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.